So in this video, we are going to uh, discuss the uh, question in thermal and statistical mechanics, which appeared in GATE 2012 examination. Uh, let's continue with the first problem. The statement is the isothermal compressibility kappa of an ideal gas at temperature T naught and V naught is given by. So the isothermal compressibility, isothermal compressibility. It is denoted by kappa t. Okay, so here it is given as a fractional change in volume that is 1 by v delta v. That's a fractional change in volume. Now compression it is with respect to pressure. So we write here in the denominator delta p. Okay, so by increasing the pressure the volume will reduce and it is under isothermal condition and we put a negative sign here so that it becomes a positive quantity. Why? Because when we increase the pressure, okay, so when we increase the pressure, there is a corresponding increase in the volume. So delta B will be negative, okay. So therefore, to make it a positive quantity, a negative sign is introduced here. So if you just take a look at the options that are given to us, option A is the correct one here. Similarly, uh, just uh, why, uh, because uh, the additional information is connected with the definition that's asked here, so we can define the adiabatic compressibility also. So in an adiabatic process, which is isentropic, uh, reversible adiabatic process, so uh, adiabatic compressibility is given by uh, minus 1 by V dV upon dP, but now the constraint will be of constant entropy, okay. Uh, there are, there's another quantity that's uh, uh, called as the uh, expansivity, the isobaric expansivity. Isobaric expansivity. Okay, so that is denoted by letter alpha p. Okay, that's again, uh, it's a fraction change in volume, 1 by v dv. Okay, that's a fraction change in volume, but now expansion is with respect to change in temperature. So delta T in the denominator and then the constraint of constant pressure. Okay. So we can remember all these definitions by simply remembering, uh, remembering the word fractional change in volume that is delta B by D. And then if we are talking about the uh, compression, so put delta P in the denominator and if we are talking about expansion, put delta T in the denominator. So that's your definition. Now let's continue with the next problem. Uh, next problem, uh, the statement is for an ideal Fermi gas in three dimension. Okay, so for the ideal Fermi gas in three dimension, the elect the electron velocity Vf at the Fermi surface is related to the electron concentration N as. Okay, so we have to uh, find the direct relationship between the Fermi velocity and the number density of electron in a uh, three dimension electron gas. Okay, so for the 3D, for a 3D electron gas at 0 Kelvin, okay, the Fermi energy is given by EF that is equal to H cut square upon 2M multiply by 3 pi square N by V power 2 by 3, okay, and this is equal to 1 by 2 M Vf square, where Vf is the Fermi velocity, okay. So from this expression, we notice that the Fermi velocity, square of Fermi velocity, that is equal to, or uh, that is proportional to, basically, the number density n by v power 2 by 3, okay. So that means the Fermi velocity Vf, that is proportional to n by v power 1 by 3 or that is equal to small n power 1 by 3, okay. So therefore, uh, the correct option is D here. Now, now let's take a look at the next problem. A classical gas of molecules, each of mass m is in thermal equilibrium at absolute temperature T, okay. The velocity component of the uh, molecules along the Cartesian axis are Vx, By and Bz. Then the mean value of Vx plus Vy square is, okay. So let's see how we can uh, handle this problem. So here uh, we require uh, one one of the important results, uh, one or two results, we are going to make use of those results here in solving this problem. And the results are that average of Vx, that where Vx is the velocity along x direction, that is equal to average of Vy and that is equal to average of Vz and that is equal to 0, okay. And further, also, 
in fact we d we talk about these identities or the results uh, when we uh, talk about maxwell boltzmann velocity distribution okay vx vy that is equal to vy vz and that is equal to vz vx and that is equal to 0 okay and also average of vx square that is equal to average of vy square and that is equal to average of vz square and that is equal to kt by m okay so we are going to make use of these three uh, results here not three but two uh, out of these three okay now we have to determine the average the mean value of mean value of vx plus vy square and that is equal to vx square plus by square plus 2vx by and its average and this can be further written as vx square average plus by square average plus 2 average of vx by okay and that is equal to kvt by m plus kt by m plus 2 times 0 and that's nothing but what uh, the desired answer is that is equal to 2 kt upon m so therefore d is the correct option here so let's see uh, what's the next problem okay so next problem again it's related to the uh, the pre electron, electron gas in three dimension so we are given that the total energy of an ideal non relativistic fermi gas in three dimension is given as so we are given the relationship e it's proportional to n power 5 by 3 divided by v power 2 by 3 or if we uh, remove the proportionality then it a constant will come into picture here c n power 5 by 3 upon b power 2 by 3 so that's the result that's given to us okay now we have to obtain the expression for the pressure exerted by this gas okay so we will make use of the uh, relationship that uh, we can uh, obtain from the one of the thermodynamic potential that's internal energy de that is equal to tds minus p db okay from here uh, we can determine the pressure as p that is equal to minus de by db by keeping s constant okay so here because uh, the expression for the energy is given to us so from here i can determine the pressure as minus curly curly v of c n power 5 by 3 divided by v power 2 by 3 okay so we have to uh, differentiate this expression only with respect to v so that is equal to minus c n power 5 by 3 outside because it's a constant quantity and then differential of b power uh, 1, 1 by b power 2 by 3 so that will give us a, a numeral co uh, constant of minus 2 by 3 because when uh, we will take it to the numerator so b power minus 2 by 3 so nx uh, power n minus 1 so this will give you in the denominator v power 2 by 3 at is, as it is into 1 by v after uh, doing the differentiation so that is equal to 2 by 3 minus minus will become plus and then c n power 5 by 3 divided by v power 2 by 3 and then multiply by 1 by v okay so that is equal to this quantity it's nothing but it's e so that is pressure is equal to two third of energy density so that's the our right uh, and that's our answer okay so that, th therefore it matches with uh, uh, the result pv that is equal to Two third of E. So therefore, B is the correct option here. Now let's take a look at the next problem. So it's related to the determination of the partition function. So we are given a system whose three energy levels are given by. So we are given a situation where three different energy levels they are given by. The energies are zero, E, and 2e okay 
the energy level is twofold degenerate so this energy level it is having a degeneracy of 2 and the other two are non degenerate so, so that means g is equal to 1 here and it is equal to 1 here the partition function of the system with beta is equal to 1 by kt is okay so the partition function is given as g, z that is equal to sum of all states g i exponential minus beta e i and e i so that is equal to g1 exponential minus beta e1 so g1 is equal to 1 so 1 into exponential minus beta multiply by 0 so that will give us a 1 okay now the for the second energy level g2 that's 2 2 exponential minus beta e plus 1 g3 exponential minus 2 beta e okay and that can be rewritten as 1 plus exponential minus beta e and its whole square so therefore option c is the correct one here so this was a very simple question okay let's take a look at the next problem a paramagnetic system consisting of n spin off particle so we are having a paramagnetic system where total number of total number of spin half particle that is equal to n okay so it is found that n by 2 spins are aligned parallel and n remaining n by 2 spins are aligned anti parallel to the magnetic field so spin which are parallel to field they are n by 2 and then spin anti parallel to the field they are n minus n by 2 and that is equal to n by 2 so that means we are having a situation where uh, out of total n spins n by 2 are aligned along the field direction and remaining n by 2 along the uh, in the opposite direction to the field so therefore the corresponding number of rearrangements of the so called the microstates that is given as n factorial out of which n by 2 spins they are aligned along the field direction so their arrangements are n by 2 factorial and remaining n by 2 factorial arrangements opposite to the field so that's the total number of microstates here okay so from here we can determine the entropy by making use of this relationship s that is equal to kb ln omega and when you do that so here you can write this result as n by 2 factorial its whole square so that uh, the entropy turns out to be equal to kb ln n factorial minus 2 times ln n by 2 factorial so now we have to ma uh, make use of the sterling approximation here which says that ln for very large value of n ln n factorial is equal to n ln n minus n okay so let's see uh, what is the final expression for the entropy s that is equal to kb n ln n minus n okay and then minus 2 times n by 2 ln n by 2 minus n by 2 n ln n minus n okay so this after rearrangements it uh, gives us that is equal to kb n ln n minus n uh, 2 will cancel with 2 so minus n ln n by 2 plus n so n will cancel with n so that is equal to kv n ln n minus n ln n by 2 so divided by n by 2 ok so that is equal to n kv ln 2 that's the entropy so therefore d is the correct option here let's take a look at the last problem uh, that uh, that appeared in uh, in this exam okay at a certain temperature t the average speed of nitrogen molecule in air is found to be okay so let me write the numbers that that's given to us 
we are given the average speed of the nitrogen in air that is equal to 400 meter per second okay the most probable and uh, root mean case speed of the ni uh, nitrogen molecules are respectively so let me first write the expression for these uh, two quantities which we are supposed to determine and for the average speed the expression uh, also equal to 8 kt upon by m under root okay and uh, for the root mean scale speed r m b r m s that is equal to here k is the Boltzmann constant 3 k t upon m under root and then b most probable is equal to 2 k t upon m okay and uh, based upon this, these expressions, what we can do is we can correlate these, uh, any of these two like this. So, if you take a ratio between V RMS divided by B most probable, so when you do that, that is equal to under root 3 divided by under root 2 and it comes out to be equal to 1.224. Okay. Similarly, uh, we can connect the, the V average divided by be most probable and uh, after the, I mean uh, uh, taking a I mean, uh, removing the common terms from the B average and uh, the most probable the answer that we obtain it is uh, equal to 1.128 okay now B average is given to us then we can determine B most probable by making use of this expression so B most probable is equal to V average for nitrogen divided by 1.128 so that is equal to 400 meter per second divided by 1.128 if you do this calculation the number that you will obtain that will be equal to 355 meter per second okay so now the most probable is uh, speed is known to us so by uh, making use of this expression we can determine the v rms also so v rms divided by v most probable that is equal to 1.22 4 okay so that means v rms is equal to b most probable multiply by 1.224 so that is equal to uh, bmp that is 355 multiply by 1.224 and that will be uh, around uh, if you just uh, multiply this number 434 meter per second okay so therefore uh, BMP is 355 and BRMS is 434. So therefore, option A is the correct one here. So this completes the solution for this year.